hey guys welcome back to my channel it is thursday and your girl is back with another video if it's your first time here welcome my name is nandum cb and on this channel i share about my experiences abroad i do family vlogs i do lifestyle conversation anything that i feel comfortable sharing so you will find a bit of everything so please do subscribe if you haven't please click like share let your friends and family know of this channel and to my returning faves <laughs> thank you you so much you guys for your continued support i really do appreciate each and every one of you i always tell you i love you for supporting me for seeing potential in me i'll always be grateful for each and every one of you now today on today's video i as you can see by the title i'm going to be talking about the things i dislike or i don't like about staying abroad i know most of the time hear so always... much about um the good things or the benefits of living abroad how you get to meet new people how you try travel and learn new languages and all that though all of that is true but staying abroad is not all glamorous as we make it look like i actually did a video a while ago about expectations versus a reality because there's just a reality that we never prepare for um i guess because most of the time we talk or we hear about the good things that uh, people will share about staying abroad so today i decided to just do a funny a video of the opposite you know um and let's just talk about the bad things or the things i dislike about staying abroad those are the things that suck uh, and this is based purely on my four-year experience um these are my opinions you, as you guys know the disclaimer so i just want to share that today for someone who might be planning to come or to go abroad study or work abroad this insight might actually help you to prepare better before i waste time let's get into today's video So I decided with this month, I told you guys that this year is my last year here. So um, should things go well in December, we're going back to South Africa. And so I was just thinking a lot about our journey here when we moved and all that, how it's been and all that. So I decided to go to, uh, in the two, three weeks, because I've neglected the, the, the life abroad segment. So I decided to go to in the few weeks or two weeks or three, I'm going to be talking about like today, things I dislike about staying abroad. Next week, we'll probably think Things, uh, will be things I love about being abroad and then I also just want to share my experience being a foreigner how it feels to be a foreigner that type of thing so that's what I'm gonna do so like I said today we're talking about the bad things or the things that suck about being abroad without wasting time number one so the first thing I hate or I dislike about staying abroad is the physical um, distance the separation uh, leaving your family and friends that one is always the I don't know i didn't expect it to be this deep but it is deep guys like you know when you leave your friends and family and you are going to cape town or Devon, it's a different story because it's still around uh gauteng or it's still around south africa and you can still just go to see them whenever you need to it's not that bad to get a corner in terms of expenses and all that so when you have to leave you know, when you go abroad, it's just, it's like goodbye because going to see them is not going to be as often as it would be. So that one, yeah, it's a big deal for me. I don't like it. I think because I didn't expect it to be this deep, but when I got here, I was just like, hey, boy, I'm so alone. Where is everyone? You know, so I don't like that. That's the, I think the most most people who are abroad talk about it more good see the say the goodbyes you know leaving family and friends uh, is is the hardest and homesickness gets real so if you were asking me the separation part i wish we could just go abroad but you know what come with our family and friends <laughs> the second thing i dislike about staying abroad is the formal <laughs> the fear of missing out like guys when you are abroad you are going to be missing out on all or most of the important life events whether from your family or your friends weddings parties anything you are going to miss out because obviously you are not there you know whenever they do something i will call when you come you don't have enough time to go to their gigs and also time this can be um 
you can either not be missing events because you are not around right but also you will miss events because people are eventually not going to invite you <laughs> invite sana because i mean people will invite you but they will get used to you not being around and you might end up losing invites and also just being in the days of social media you know when you live abroad the only thing that you have connecting you to home is social media and sometimes it can just cause a new form of enzyme because on weekends on you see people are uh, hanging out together you like mm, i would be there i should be there and you see people going to weddings you see your family uh, having ama mishado parties kids are born you go there and then you find good thing in six months you know so you, you you're going to constantly experience if i were guys <laughs> and it's not nice especially for me because i've always been outgoing i've always been with friends or family uh, i think i needed this time to come abroad so that i can learn just to be in my own company because honestly i never got used to it i was always always surrounded by friends um family so it was a hard one for me to see good table they're actually moving on without me and of course you want them to it's just that it's not easy to adjust another thing that i dislike about being abroad is the the hard work um we have to put in maintaining relationships la 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 you are going to have to work extra hard for your relationships to maintain them is going to be and this is the time you will when you will see your real friends people who, who really loved you because Ababing at time, do they not gonna last? Because it takes effort. You have to. The data is expensive. Um, time zones. Sometimes you're calling the person and they're not available because when now it's daytime and when it's at night, nje it takes a lot. So for someone who was never really into you, they will not last. So this is the time where you will lose friend friendships. This is the time where you're going to. I mean, see man, ugutsi. I actually didn't have much of people, which is not a problem. It's good to see a pale abanda bagu tandai, but it also it's not easy because now you 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 hoping for that those friendships which is a comfort as you are adjusting away, but then also look good in as they are take a taking. So that you're gonna have to brace yourself for the hard work you have to put onto relationships, and also just know good most of them are gonna fall apart and. That's the truth. Talking about relationships, another thing I dislike about staying abroad is the the part of making new friends. And Utolo Guti, you've made friends. Now they have to go, or you have to go, because when we are foreigners or when we are posted in different countries, what happens is that we um, are there for a certain time. Most of the time, people are not there forever. So you get you made new friends, you get used to them, and then boom, they have to go. So that is also a struggle that you have to face sorry my kids are here <laughs> so that's the struggle you face so you're gonna constantly have to make friends friendships that might not even last long another thing i don't like uh, about living abroad now that i've spoken about the friendships uh, saying goodbye to the families um the fomo i think another thing i don't like is that the traveling or going home is so expensive because now there is no much options besides my fear of flying you know i, I know I, i'm scared of flying but besides that i wish there were other options because then it would help in in terms of email now when you have to go home you need to like really plan because especially for us still four so you need like kimalyang and pelo 40k just for traveling that means you can't go home anytime you want to go unfortunately so i don't like that i feel like ngatsi ngabebe kona manyama mode of transport that can make it easy for one to go home whenever they want to go manje it's not a matter of month and no ways <laughs> so i don't like um that about living abroad another thing i don't like about being abroad is the language barrier communication um i know we always say it's a good opportunity to learn languages but also it's not easy you know when you are around people speaking zulu english and you don't know that it is so difficult because now you don't know where to go where you will find people who are going to understand you find yourself stuck because you say more you want it all on and you don't know how to call it 
na baby zangai. So you get that pressure of learning a language, which might then be a good thing because you will have that extra language or so yazi. But it's not easy getting to the point where you're now learning or you've learned the language. So communication is not easy, and also communication is also a problem for kids because Mina, I'm talking based on kids as well. You know, when kids go to school, now they have to learn this foreign language, and then they come home. You don't know the language. You can't even help them with homework. You know, and you're now relying on Google and stuff. So. In terms of communication, it becomes difficult because you you get pressure. Oh, good, so you must learn the language quicker, which might be a good thing, but it's not easy. Another thing I dislike about staying abroad is the fact that you're always trying to fit in because you'll always feel like an outsider. You know, well, you are an outsider. You are actually an outsider, but every time you are reminded, oh, good, so I don't. I'm not from here. Whether by seeing other people's cultures, whether by hearing people speak, whether by seeing people dress the way I'm. Um, in, I mean, the people, the, the way people dress like me in this country. It's so easy to be reminded. You would say, "Sorry, <laughs> you're not from here." So other people say you will experience discrimination. Sometimes it's not even discrimination. It's just you feeling like an outsider because young kind is so different to what you are and know. And now. Moya Molly, it's so obvious. Everyone's gonna be looking at you because you'll be wearing a short sleeve while everyone is covering up. I'm making an example. So you are constantly reminded, being reminded to go to you not from here. <laughs> Whether by the way people live, uh, the way people do things, the stores, everything just reminds you all the time. Oh, good, you are an outsider, and that can that is not a nice feeling. Those are some of the things that I dislike about being abroad. Of course, there are a lot. Um, I just based my video today on basically the relationships, the making of friendships, and how you feel as an outsider and how expensive it is. But there is a lot of things that you will find which you don't like. I mean, some people experience racism. You know, thank God we haven't. Um, I just saw now with this thing yesterday, Russia. Um, they were saying some black people have to wait for white people to go out the country, to leave the country. So um, some people will experience that discrimination. It is not as glamorous as we make it to be. It is a good experience, though you will get to sightsee, see the world, learn new culture, and all that things that we say. But brace yourself or prepare yourself for the challenges that you might come uh, across. But besides in the Zimbi, there are also good things that we always share. So stay tuned. Next week, I'll be talking about the best things about staying abroad. And I think on the last week or the third week, I'm going to be talking about um, how it feels to be a foreigner. So stay tuned. I'm just going to do it at this three part series about life abroad. This is just my experience. I told you guys. Um, it's my experience. I'm going home. So I want my insights and experiences to be helpful to others, whether they help you to plan or prepare for your uh, stay abroad or you are abroad already and you're thinking this off, uh, is stress. No, chill. I'm, I've got you. I've got you. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. I hope you did like the video. Please comment down below if you are abroad. What have you experienced and you just like? I don't like this about staying abroad. What has been the experience like? Would you do it again? Do you miss home? Would you, if you get an opportunity to extend, would you and which countries would you like to go to? I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next week with another banging video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.